Alright guys, welcome to your sixth lesson, and guys, I got some good news. In between making the last tutorial and this tutorial, I got a call from Microsoft, and it just so happens that they saw our program, and they want to pay us millions of dollars, but they just said that instead of having one general animal class, that we actually need to have classes for each different type of animal. A dog, a cat, a fish. So that's nice and all, so let's see if we can do that. And another thing I want to mention is this. Anytime you close out of Interactive Ruby, your memory gets cleared. So whenever we close out this program and reopen it, it's not going to save the animal class. So we can go ahead and close out using this X, or we can do it the cool Interactive Ruby, Ruby way. Just go ahead and type exit, hit enter, and it exits out of it. I just thought I'd tell you guys that. So now let's go ahead and open it again. And what we want to do is we want to work on this new program that Microsoft wants. Now remember, they want us to rewrite our program so we have classes for dogs, cats, and birds. So basically, whenever we create classes, we can use something called inheritance. Now, inheritance is going to make your programming life a whole lot easier. It makes it easier to create related objects such as dogs, cats, and birds. Since all of these things are all animals, this is basically what we're going to do. We're going to create a general animals class just like before. Now all animals have a name, an age, and a trait. However, since Microsoft wants a class for each one, dog, cat, and fish, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of steal all the attributes from animal instead of having to retype it each time. So basically, instead of having to type the same code over and over and over and over again, we can just use a little trick called inheritance and it's going to save you a whole bunch of time. So enough of me talking, the first thing we need to do is make a general animals class. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Class animal attr underscore accessor. Now we write all of the different attributes we want such as name and remember we don't want any of these to be specific to a dog, a cat, or a fish, such as, you know, um, how fast does it swim, how loud does it meow. We want these to be general to all animals, such as name, age, and trait. So these are attributes that all animals have in common. So now, let's just go ahead and end our animal class, and there we go. We get no, we didn't mess up at all. So now what we need to do is we need to create a bunch of different classes for each type of animal. Say we want to create a dog, a cat, and a fish class. So let's go ahead and create a dog class first. Class dog. Now instead of hitting enter, go ahead and write the less than sign and write animal. Now whenever we hit enter and hit end, check out what we just did. We created a dog class, of course we did, because we got nail. But what we did is instead of writing this little line right here, attribute, accessor, name, age, trait, what we did is we inherited everything from the animal class. Think of this less sign as an arrow. Pretty much means dump everything from the animal class into the dog class. So instead of having to write all this stuff, it's a little shortcut just to basically say, okay, whatever's in this animal class, dump into the dog class. So even though you can't see it right now, this dog class has the name, age, and trait attributes. So it saved us a little bit of typing. That's pretty much a shortcut. So now we need to do the same thing for a cat class and a fish class. So class cat, dump everything from the animal class, aka all the attributes, into the cat class. And in that class, okay, that one worked out good. Now class fish animal and end. So basically we made four different classes. A general animal class which has name, age, and trait. And instead of j having to rewrite that whole thing for dog, name, age, trait, cat, name, age, trait, fish, name, age, trait, we just wrote it once in a general class and inherit it into our three separate classes. So remember this. Each of these classes inherit the name, age, and trait from the animal class. The less hand sign 
or less than sign means give the attributes from this class to another. It's just a lot faster than typing it out each time. So say that Bill Gates says that this animal database is an awesome program. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to back up and I'm going to save that for the next tutorial because Bill Gates, he needs to take his time to think about what he really wants in this program. But anyways, I'm going to be showing you guys something really, really cool in the next video. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out the next video.